What is best in life? To crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and to hear the lamentation of the women. All good there. Perfect. All right, so we got some dwarves going on here. Dwarves and wood elves. This could be a potential... Oh, no, chaos dwarves. Chaos dwarves and wood elves. Potential here to have a really fun match, depending on how the uh, elves are able to handle these, uh, these six blockers. So it looks like... <clears throat> Uh, first of all, let's update our title here. And we have... We have a uh, Sprinter with the Woodies and ha Havel, Havel, Havel as the Chaos Dwarf. So, Sprinter with the Wood Elves. And Chaos Dwarves for the Coach Havel. Havel. I'm not sure how he pronounces that name. Probably doesn't use the reroll there, I would imagine. On the failed um, failed dodge with the Hobgoblin. Shouldn't waste a reroll there anyway. Breaks himself and stuns himself, unfortunately. Oh, it looks like he stunned, uh, the tree stunned that Chaos Dwarf blocker on his turn one as well. Next, let's get this posted up again. Here. And streaming info, bam. Ellie match for the Wood Elves versus Chaos Dwarf is now live. Bam. Hey Thor, how you doing? Hey Furry. How you guys doing today? Get this listed up here as well. <clears throat> all right so we are all good on all of that now let's get into stream casting this oh there's a failed leap by a war dancer back just in time to see that does he re-roll that i imagine he does he does oh and a double fail he does not break himself though that looks just like me when i play war elves uh, war, war elves when I play Wood Elves, my War Dancers always fail their leaps, but I usually kill myself. He rolled a 2-2. Two, two. Oh. <laughs> That's disgusting. <clears throat> Alright, so the Chaos Dwarves. Uh, I'm good. Ready to see some Blood Bowl. Yeah, or some blood. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you missed that. Hey, Von Steinberg. You missed that earlier. The uh, uh, Rats of Bob and uh, the Norse of... Uh, uh, damn, who did he play with the Norse? I don't remember all of a sudden. I'm brain farting. Uh, Ravers. Ravers Norse against Bob's Skaven. The Norse just absolutely demolished the Skaven. Lots of blood. A dead rat ogre. Five rats in the Kaz box. Five rats in the KO box by turn 16. Uh, Skaven only had two guys on the pitch. Absolute just punished him. I mean, just a punishing match. 
This match, though, just getting started with the Chaos Stores and the Wood Elves. Chaos Stores got the ball in one of their uh, Bull Centaur's hands. <coughs> Chaos Stores have an APO and three rerolls. They did not get fame. The Wood Elves got fame plus two, actually. And it looks like the Chaos Stores have a 12 man roster. They've got both Bulls. Let's get the stats up here, or the skills up. One bull's got guard, the other one's got block. Uh, six blockers, one with mighty blow, one with guard, a rookie, one with guard, one with guard, and a rookie. And actually, this other bull has break tackle, not guard. So we got guard, guard, mighty blow, and then three rookies for his six uh, blockers. And then he's got one, two, three four rookie hobs oh and there comes a foul on the war dancer oh no it wasn't the war dancer he gets caught and he's stunned oh yeah that was on the war dancer yeah that was the war dancer here so he stuns the war dancer gets caught unfortunately uh, he didn't break the or uh, get the war dancer off like he'd hoped it would have been an acceptable trade if the war dancer goes off the pitch too right you're absolutely okay with that trade Uh, so yeah, four four hobs, six blockers is ten, and then eleven, twelve with the two bulls. The wood elves, on the other hand, uh, looks like they have just an eleven man roster. They've got both war dancers, one with frenzy, one with wrestle. They've got a catcher with block, a catcher with guard. Uh, they have a catcher with block, and then over here they have two linemen. So it looks like three catchers. One, two, three. Am I missing one somewhere? Nope, looks like three catchers. Both ward answers, that's five. And then he's got one, two, three. Four, five rookie linemen. So that's ten. And then the tree is eleven. <coughs> Ooh, and an injury on a uh, blocker there. If that's a badly hurt, you immediately re-roll it. Yeah, I think he apo that. Absolutely. Even though it's just a rookie blocker, it's a blocker that's that's coming back on the pitch, guaranteed. Now that's the time you want to use that apo early. Unlike the human team that we saw earlier with the dead ogre... He re-rolled that APO on turn two with a dead ogre and ended up being to a, a stat break. So 50%, he took a chance on 50 Oh, Wood Elves fail again. There goes the last re-roll. No, he does not use it. Anyway, the, uh, the human coach decided to go with the 50% chance that he would be able to get the badly hurt and bring the ogre back, and he failed it, and APO's gone on turn two. Like I said then, that case, I, I don't agree with using that APO there that quick, right? Yes, it's a key positional. Ogre with guard, but on turn two on a 50% chance, nah, I don't waste it. Here, that's 100% guaranteed coming back because it was a badly hurt right off the bat. And even though this is pretty early, I still am okay with that. <coughs> and then the tree has leader. I like that play. I really like the play of leader on tree because the tree's most likely not going to go out, and he'll be here to get that leader reroll both halves. Now things can always happen. I do like jump up on the tree in this case too though. The jump up on the tree is really nice. The halfling team that we streamed the other night had both trees with jump up. Oh, it was so, so disgusting. He was just getting up easy as crap with his trees every time they got knocked down. Yeah, bulls are very good. Oh, is that one got strip ball, not wrestle? That makes sense. Yeah, you're right. It is strip ball. That makes more sense too. Yeah, you want a you want a word answer with strip ball, absolutely. The the icons for strip ball and wrestle look so similar. It's easy to uh, easy to get them mixed up, especially when you're just looking at it real quick and not paying attention. But yes, you are absolutely correct, Von Steinberg. That is uh, strip ball, not wrestle, on that word answer. So one good thing for the wood elves is the. Uh, Apo is now gone, so every cross from here on out sticks. So that's one good thing. 
pitch is even on numbers currently, nine on nine. The war dance or the war dancer. I keep wanting to call them the war dancers. The wood elves still have uh, their apo in play as well, so that's nice. Oh, uh, you got me right when I was blowing my nose, Furry. Thank you for the subscription, man. Appreciate that a lot. Hope you like the little uh, video play there. It's a, a perfect, uh, perfect uh, re, uh, reply for that. Oh, wow! Dodging dwarves, and the tackle did come into play on this one here, as he got the uh, hit on the dodge guard catcher. But the dwarf rolls a six on a five plus to. Uh, to dodge out of the tree and why not I mean if you fail who cares you at least get him away from the tree the tree's stuck now on this guy unless the tree doesn't root and he's able to move him around but now you can just hold this tree up with one uh, one blocker even though it's a guard blocker <coughs> uh, I appreciate that man yeah I, I really appreciate that furry every little bit helps for sure and I'm really close to uh, getting my first paycheck from stream or from twitch and i know i've showed some of the guys before but uh the plan is uh all the money that i get because i'm not obviously i'm not a you know uh one of the big guys that gets you know makes their living off of streaming so every little bit of money that i get from twitch here is going to go towards buying uh better equipment for the stream or newer equipment for the stream first couple of things i'm going to buy is i'm going to buy a couple of uh Ah, it makes the leap on that one. For the uphill. Yep, uphill. Ah, uh, and he's going to take him down. No, that bull has block. He doesn't re-roll it. So he'll take the block and not use the strip, so he doesn't have to use the strip ball. Yep. Almost got it. Got half of what he needed. Um, but anyway, the first two things I'm going to buy is I'm going to buy a, a an actual boom mic, so I don't have to use this one anymore. Uh, and then I'm going to buy a couple of uh, stand lamps that will stand on either side of my um, center monitor. I have a four monitor set up. And uh, I'm going to set it up so it actually curves over the top of my two outside. Like I have three and then one in the middle on top. So it's going to curve around the two middle ones and come over the kind of sit sideways against the get my hands right here against the top one and curve over the two outside ones like that and they're nice bright lights that aren't uh, harmful to the eyes because my eyes are very light sensitive <clears throat> and you notice I kind of have this up above light on all the time when I game just so I have more light on my my face uh, but that allow me to turn that light off and enjoy gaming in a more darker environment which is what I prefer anyway uh, but another streamer of, that's a good buddy of mine in real life, it's kind of the same way with me. He has a very light sensitive eyes, and um, he uh, he bought these lights and absolutely loves them. He can they have like seven different adjustment levels on them, which is uh, really nice. So you can set. Uh oh, War Dancer is going to get surfed. It looks like. Oh, nice play by the dwarves here. Yep. Goodbye, strip baller. Gotta hope for no cross here. Ah, no cross. No KO either. That's nice. So he's coming back for sure without having to use the APO. War Dan uh, the War Dancer skated there. The Wood Elf coach got away with that because uh, that could have been really, really decimating to his team if that guy goes, if that War Dancer goes off. Let's see if I can find. Uh, find that again. I know it was... My buddy had a picture up where his setup was... how his setup was, and it worked really good. Um, I think it's in here, maybe? Break there, but no takeoff. No, actually not in there. Whoa, what the... Hello, hello. Hello. 
Yeah, it's not in there. Twitch. I think it's in this one, actually. Let's scroll back up quite a bit, because this post was a while ago. <laughs> But yeah, anyway, I think I'm $10 away now from getting my first check issued to me. With that sub there, it puts me $10 away, I believe. Which is cool. Ah, there we go. That's the picture I'm looking for. This guy right here. So this this is my buddy's setup, and this is how mine looks too, pretty much. A uh, little bit bigger monitors around the edges here. These are 22s, I think, for him. Mine are 24s, and then my centers are 27. And then I'll, I'm going to get, or I have a, a, a small one here, but I'm going to get a bigger one to go up here. But I'm going to have these two lamps that reach over the side there. And that's basically what it, how it lights his face up while he's streaming. So you got good white light on your face, but you can still have your environment around your room dark. Um, and because he says uh, he's very very sensitive to overly bright and intense light which is the same way I am it's it's a true headache trigger but he says these don't bother him so anyway that's gonna be one of my buy one of my buys when I get that first check and we got a KO there on a lineman it looks like I think that was a KO there, wasn't it? Or a lineman, I mean. Yes, that was a lineman. So he's got three linemen KO'd now. <coughs> Alright, so he is down, and a war dancer off. So he's down to seven on the pitch. Nine on the pitch for the, blo uh, the dwarves. Oh, it's still the Dwarfs team turn. Thought that was a word answer. Sorry, the ah, man, I'm getting tongue tied tied all over the place here. Now the other word answer is going to get surfed. It looks like push there. Um. Oh, he breaks him. Oh, he used uh he chose to u not use dodge so he wouldn't get surfed. Risky chance there, but uh it's probably better because then you make him have to break your armor instead of giving them the free surf where the armor's already broke. Uh I like that play actually. I like choosing to turn dodge off there. Yeah, this definitely could be a lot worse for the for the Wood Elves for sure. For I agree 100%. And yeah, that setup is really nice, and uh, it'll look good with mine too, I believe. So, uh, and like I said, it will allow me to get this huge ass overhead light off. So, I mean, I could go without the light now, but it's it's a lot darker. Now, it doesn't look as dark to you right now because the the screen that Blood Bowl is on is a lot brighter. But when I'm playing a dark game like last night, I was playing Soma, which is a dark horror game, and that screen's really dark then my face is really dark and it's hard to see <coughs> so that will allow me to get the environment a lot darker and, and be able to fully enjoy the you know the immersion of the game that I'm in without relying on the game being a bright game like the Blood Bowl pitch is right now because I have basically on all my monitors I have my main 27 inch in the middle is the game itself and then on my right monitor where I'm looking at now is my camera right at the very edge and um, my OBS studio that does the streaming, my Ankbot which works with the streaming as well. There's another break for the tree. The tree's been breaking the dwarf blockers pretty good. Yeah, absolutely it will. <clears throat> and getting the boom mic would be nice too because then I won't have to rely on this crappier mic so to say I mean this mic does good enough but uh, uh, it'd be nice to have an actual boom mic that's one I've been that's something I've been wanting to do for a while it's just hard for me to uh, to talk to wife and to let me spend a lot of money on that kind of stuff 
I, I and when I do get her talked into it, it's usually to get new monitors and and gaming rig and stuff like that. And the smaller stuff I just live without. You know, I, I get it as a necessity when needed. But now that I am making just a little bit of money here and there for Twitch, when I do get those checks, that's what I'm going to use it for to kind of get myself the other equipment that is a little bit harder for me to talk to wife into since I <laughs> I spend no sweet spots uh, on getting the better stuff. <clears throat> um, but yeah, on my right monitor, I have all that stuff and some internet pages. And then on my left monitor, I have the actual stream running in Twitch like what you guys see so I can see the chat window I see what you guys see the delay all that kind of stuff uh, and that way I also make sure that uh, make sure the stream's running and that you guys are seeing it right uh, you know that it's not lagging out that kind of thing uh, and then I have my my other uh, third party tools that I use with my streaming like stream labels um, stream tips, layer one, all that stuff. So, it'll be good. It'll be nice when I get those, get those in, and get them all set up. Pretty good first half for the dwarfs here. Even though they did break and do some. Uh, <coughs> Some potential damage. It was all KOs. Uh, speaking of, there's a fourth one. Even got a surf on a war dancer, but unfortunately, it was just a uh, normal break. So the ward, <laughs> the wood elves are still going to have potentially all 11 on the pitch to start the second half, depending on how these KO rolls go. Yeah, I had, uh, I actually built, or had built a custom rig many years ago back around 2006 I think and uh, it was a Dell XPS that I, I custom ordered and had them built the way I wanted it built and it was a nice rig and lasted for geez till 2016 so I got almost 10 years out of it before I finally had and I upgraded a few things in it throughout the years you know better uh, graphics cards that kind of stuff um, Oh, fails that dodge. And does he re-roll it? No. And KOs himself. Uh. <clears throat> um, but then I finally talked to wife into letting me get a new rig back in 2016. So it's two years old now, my new rig is. Because I got it around November of 2016. Um, so no, no, it's one years old. I think it was 2016 when I got it. Maybe it's 2015. Anyway, Bull scores there on turn 8 to go up one nothing. See how the KO rolls go for the Woodies. Oh. 3 out of 5. That's a little bit better than average. 50% is average. So uh, that's a good roll for him to start. Now he's only got 2 to roll for on the next, uh, after this turn here. He loses the block catcher and he misses the lineman. <laughs> yeah, I know. So I talked my wife into letting me get the new rig at that point. Um, was it November of last year? Let's think here. Because, yeah, I was still in my last job. Actually, it might have been, I think I ordered it in August and I got it in like September or October, something like that. So it's a li little over a year old. Um, Wait a minute. No, it was a year before. It was 2015, so it's two years old. Because I got it in the fall, and then in the spring of the next year, I got the Rift. And I've had the Rift for over a year. So, Because the rig I, I, this new rig I got, I had custom built as well from a company called Falcon Northwest. And they make uh, one of the machines they make is a liquid-cooled machine, which is what I got. And a, a buddy of mine that's actually in this tournament representing Goblin with me, McLean. He works for that company. And uh, <clears throat> he was bragging up the computers pretty good, so he showed me a lot of good stuff about them and, and talked a lot of good stuff about them. And I ended up having him build me one, or his company. Um, custom build me one and, and built it out the way I wanted it built out. And I wanted it built out to be able to run, uh, run the Rift. 
because that was the the key proponent is I was going to get the rift and wanted to be able to run VR solid. So yeah, I was able to get that and talk the wife into that, which was really nice. And uh, trying to figure out what he's doing here with his lineup. Okay, so he's going to go offset. Okay. I was kind of expecting him to put this go uh, goblin here and this bull centaur here to kind of have them angled in and protect the bulls a little bit. But uh, I see what he's doing. He wanted to go with the offset like that to try to give advan or give uh, position advantages to get back and recover on either side if the wood elves run around on the sideline, which is what you expect. Uh, oh, this is turn eight. They're not going to do that. They're going to try to one turn. So this is to help block off the one turn. Yeah, that's what this is. I don't know that the Wood Elves, they don't have sidestep, right? So, yeah. It'd be a hard one turn try at this point. It is, and I've streamed it a couple times. It's been a while. I need to hook it back up and do some streaming with it again. I've streamed uh, uh, Subnautica uh, in the VR, which is it's cool, and it's cool for the viewers, but you just you still don't get the full. Obviously, you don't get the full immersion of what the VR is on the stream, but you get to watch me, you know, sitting back here like this with the with the goggle on my head and you know doing all this kind of stuff as I'm looking all over the place and. <laughs> So it's kind of fun. It was fun for the viewers when they did watch that night, uh, the couple times that I did do it. And there's some new games out that I'm, I've got on my wish list to get as well that are uh, VR uh, accessible that I want to try out. So I'll definitely be doing some more VR with it here uh, sometime in the future. It's just a matter of when I can get to it. But I can tell you 100% the freaking Rift is amazing. Play, whether you're playing games, watching videos, watching... I mean, I've got on and watched several 360 YouTube videos that's just ridiculous. One of them, I was in a shark cage with sharks swimming all around me. Has connected. Real life, like guys did it with a 360 camera. That would make a one-turner a lot easier, especially with the move nine. Oh, no, that's move eight. So we'd only have to push him twice. Um... That's interesting. Huh. You could do this. So you hit push him here. Move him there. Yep. Move him here. Move him here because you got to push here and then push him. Yep. And then you have to move him over and him over. Because you're going to boom, and then you're going to push boom, boom, boom. Right, and then you have him here, and you've got a guy here. So you'd have to be able to get a guy here. No, you can hit with him. Nah, you got to hit straight up here. So that blocker would be there. You can push him there. So you'd have to move a guy back around over to here. Ugh, that would be rough. Uh, this is going to be a tough one. First thing you have to do is push him... Oh, that's frenzy. Ugh. That's really rough, actually. I uh, failed the catch anyway, so it doesn't matter. Double failed the catch. That was the best chance you were going to get at catching the ball anyway. Even though you had two tackle zones, everywhere is going to be two tackle zones and potentially three. So that's the best chance to try to do that. Gets one out of two on the KO rows, but the catcher failed. So he's going to be minus one block catcher for this half, or for this drive at least. But overall, he got four out of five, so you can't complain on the KO rows there. He's going to have ten on the pitch to start this half.
yeah, VR. If you get a rig that can support VR, it's it's definitely worth the the investment to go that route if you feel like you'd enjoy that thing and get enough play out of it. Like I've got plenty of play out of mine, and I feel like I've got my my money's worth out of it. Uh, and when I bought it, it was 600. I don't know if it still is, but I don't have the touch yet, which is the hand controllers uh, to give you hand movements within the game. Uh, I do plan on getting those at some point, and they're pretty cheap. I think they're like 90 bucks or 100 bucks. But the way I talked my wife into letting me get that was, uh, she allowed me to take a hundred dollars out of my paycheck every month and put back in a savings account. And then once I got six hundred dollars saved up, which was six months, then I could use that to to get the rift. So I just had to wait for six months. But I started doing it, I think like five months or four months before the original release, so that I was able to to uh, order it like within a month or two of it releasing. So it was still fairly new, uh, but it wasn't a pre-order, so I didn't have to you know wait or, or worry about stock running out. By the time I ordered, they had enough stock in place that they could immediately feel it, fill the order. So. I'm lucky I have a wife that's very, uh, very understanding of my gaming hobby and, and lets me get away with a lot of stuff on it. <laughs> Including the amount of time that I'm down here playing games and streaming. She could be a lot, uh, a lot more demanding of me and, and less uh, accepting of my hobby. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, it was a good plan. It was also a good plan to pick the right woman, right? <laughs> to fall in love with. <laughs> uh, it also helps that our kids are all grown and out of the house. So, Woody's get the extra reroll. So the plus two fame. Oh, he didn't even need the plus two fame. He won it outright. Two to one. <clears throat> That's nice for the Woodies. They get some a third reroll because they only had two. Uh, yeah, but yeah, like I said, our our um, our kids are grown and gone, so we're empty nesters, and it makes it a lot easier for me to have all of the time that I want for gaming and streaming because she likes to do her own thing in the evenings when we get off work. We you know we spend a little bit of time together doing dinner, that kind of thing. Then she watches her shows like Dr. Phil and Ellen and all that junk that I don't want to watch. So when she starts watching them, I just come on downstairs and game the rest of the night. It works out great. Good blitz here. Try to get these hob... That's any... Made sure I got the mighty blow hit on the hobgoblin there. Trying to get the hits on the hobgoblins as much as he can. Try to get them taken off. Especially since the apo has gone. They just can't break them, though, unfortunately. I imagine the Wood Elves try to score super quick here and uh, go for the win. I wouldn't expect him to stall out and try to get a uh, draw. Again, in this format, the draws really don't help you that much. Oh, double skulls. Gotta use it here. Yeah, you have to. <clears throat> because you have a hole here that he could have got through. And he could have crowded the ball. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, he could have absolutely got down and marked the ball with the bull. So unfortunately, you had to use the reroll there, whether you wanted to or not. Now he covers that hole up. Five, six, seven, eight. So you can get him down there. Hmm. Oh, he wanted to get the guard in there. Interesting play. Straight lineman there with the ball. Come up to here then, and then maybe bring her into here. I'm going to go ahead and get it to the catcher anyway. So you definitely don't bring the catcher into here now. You bring the catcher over here probably. Uh, one, two. Oh, no, it runs back. 
you have to be here to score with the catcher with go for it's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. And he's move eight. Yeah. Oh no, he's got sprint. He could have been here and scored. I forgot the catchers have sprint, so he could have. He actually only needed to push that catcher one square in order to have a chance to score. Huh. On that uh, one turner on turn eight, I totally forgot they had sprint. Gets the guard down in there. Um, I'm wondering. He can't really get a good solid hit here. He could get a one die. That's about the best he could do. <laughs> I guess Chaos Doors just try to block up here as best they can. Make the uh, what else have to do dodges potentially. Does the two die there? It doesn't break though. He's just blocking up as best he can. Because you really, the only, he can't score with anybody right now. Yeah, he can't score this next turn. So the Wood Elves are just going to have to try to clear an area off and get this guy in scoring range for the t turn after, I think. <coughs> sucks. Can't re-roll it. Can't waste your re-roll there, unfortunately. Oh, and a double skull again. Oh, man, the Wood Elves are just having some bad luck with the block dice here. Is that his third double skull? It's at least his second in back-to-back -back turns. We know that for sure. I think he might have had one earlier in the game, too, but I don't recall. I don't remember for sure. But still, that's got to that's gotta irk the shit out of the Wood Elf coach here, right? <clears throat> UPS delivery has connected. And he can't hit the, uh, the hob to take him down. <coughs> but it looks like he's going to field off on the sideline over here, possibly. One, two, three, four, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, he can definitely score with him. Just stand him up and stay there. Move him around to here. Move him down into here. And then move him, like, over into here as well to block up. Absolutely. And then he comes down around here. <laughs> oh, whoa. Why? I mean, he's out of range. Nobody can touch him. But now you're putting yourself down to a pass. Um, well, yeah. No, okay. I see what he's doing. Yeah, because he went this side too. So now he's got to cover both sides and stretch himself out. Not a bad play. I still like bringing him over here. 
and making oh fails to dodge there oh and he used the reroll too and still failed it oh don't think I would have used the reroll there I would have saved it at that point uh no he didn't use the reroll he used the reroll on the double skulls earlier sorry he just he just rolled the one and failed to dodge yeah he rolled the reroll on the double skulls earlier with the with the word answer But I see what he's doing here. Yeah, he's, he's stretching the field out a little bit. I still think I would have been... I'm not normally a wood elf coach either, or an elf coach for that matter. I do play high elves uh, quite a bit. But I probably would have came down here, just me. Uh, but that probably would have been the bad, the wrong call. Knowing the way <laughs> the way I play wood elves, that probably was not the right call. He probably did the right thing by, by getting out of range there. I probably would have done this if I had high elves just because I play high elves as a passing team. So I would have absolutely took advantage of passing with them. <laughs> There's another break for the doors, but just a stunned. I just watching some uh, quick little highlight video. It's pretty funny. Holy cow! Holy cow! Hope lots of people took the Bengals and the Bills. Or uh, no, yeah, yeah. I hope a lot of people took the Bengals and the Raiders. Is what I meant to say. Falcons are winning. Eagles are winning. Panthers are winning. Nice. In my uh, weekly. Or uh, Survivor League, I mean, not weekly. My seasonal Survivor League, worth a lot of money. If I can win that, I'll have a lot of money to spend. Pull that up on my other screen here so I can check it out. There we go. Get that off the screen there so you guys don't have to look at it. See who all everybody took. Um... Yeah, a bunch of people took, 27 people took Cincinnati. Come on, Colts. Uh, oh, nobody took the Raiders. Damn, ain't that a bitch. <coughs> and see that? That's why you don't do what I would have done, which was come in here. <laughs> I would have been fucked. He's going to try to break some people free out here, I guess. All right, so a bunch of people took Philadelphia, and they're winning easily. It looks like they're going to win. Yeah, there's like, um, uh, what, what is it here? Three, 335 people in this, and it's $25 entry fee, and it's winner take all. So $8,400 for the winner take all that is gonna hurt the wood elves because we're gonna see a war dancer surf potentially here <coughs> uh, we could actually we could actually see a couple of surfs here we could potentially see three surfs here if he plays this out right right if he wants to commit the players, he moves, takes her down, moves a piece here. Um, p 
pushes him here. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> Blitz is here and pushes him there. Uh... Oh, he gets a pal anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, well, he can still surf. Two. He could still surf the war dancer as well. Yeah, push, push, surf. You can surf the war dancer, or you can surf both of these guys. So the way you do it here is you take him down, you push this guy here, you blitz here, get a push, push him into here, he gets surfed, he goes here, and then he surfs this guy. Instead he's going to take the pal here, take him down, surf the war dancer. Yep. Which is not a bad play either. But you could have surfed two. You could have potentially surfed three if he'd have done it right. You could have surfed the guy laying down this guy here and the war dancer but he got the pow on the war dancer on the first hit so that didn't matter and he didn't do it right to be able to do the full full three person surf anyway that would have been one for the highlight reel if he could have surfed three in one turn so yeah 8400 potential 8400 dollar pot there's 120 people left and I'm already safe this week because I took Minnesota this morning why didn't he take them both down there? Oh, he's going to try to surf her. Okay, you can do that too. You can do that too. Yep, going to get surf. Push him here. And then bring him over to here. Yep, bring him there. Then she gets surfed. Wow, the Wood Elves are just uh, hating life right about now. Hating life right about now. And you don't follow on this one. Yep. There goes a rookie. Lyman. No, uh, no stun, or no, uh, Kaz or Kyo, though, just a stun. And then you could foul here if you wanted. Could come up and foul the fr yeah that's what you do you come up and foul the ward answer frenzy ward answer bam bam absolutely got the wood elves down to one two three four five six seven eight oh man yeah I I've, I absolutely take that chance Look fouling that ward answer right there All right, so the Eagles are playing the 49ers. Yeah, they're going to win that. So those guys are all going to be in. Cincinnati, though, is losing. Oh, no, they're tied. They just tied it up. Ah. Oh, he fails to dodge. Did he reroll it? No, and he stuns himself. So no reroll there. Keeps the reroll. New Orleans, 13 people took. Ooh, it's only 17-12 there, but they have the ball. So they're probably going to pull it out. Chiefs and the Falcons. Falcons are winning by five. Chiefs aren't playing yet. And then the Cowboys and the Patriots. Cowboys play the Redskins later. Chiefs and Broncos play Monday night. Patriots are winning by five. <coughs> well, you don't have to worry about fouling that war dancer anymore. You could get a bull up here to start putting pressure on that ball. Move this guy here. Bring this bull over for the for the safety. Push up with this bull. Move this guy down. Oh, he stood up, so you can't do nothing with him. But you can bring him in and foul this war dancer. Yeah. At 
least getting in a position where you can start putting pressure on them. Absolutely. Uh, I don't agree with not fouling, though, man. You got a chance to foul. Where's... Oh, never mind. That other word answer is gone. He surfed him. That's right. Yeah, so never mind. Forget me. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm stupid. <laughs> I'm telling him to foul a word answer that's not even there. Doop de doo. Oh, <laughs> Wood Elves just can't buy any luck. Well, that was two dodges. He made the first one, but he failed the second one. He does use the reroll here. Ah. Yeah, he almost has to at this point, right? Come here and pass that way. You're not going to make the sprint rolls now. Oh, he fails to go for it. I don't even try that. I mean, I just... Well, he would have failed the pass anyway because he rolled a 1. But I don't even try to go for it. I just get here and pass it. But getting here, there's no chance for an interception. All he needs is a 2+. Plus. And then that puts him at 1, 2, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1. So it puts him at a 2, 3, 4 plus to pass. <clears throat> he could have made 2 go for it and got to a uh, 3 plus to pass. Two, three. Yeah, he could have got to a three plus with two go forwards. Just wasn't meant to be for the Wood Elves in this game, I don't think. Now he's going to get surfed, most likely. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Surf with him. Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, he's covering this ball up as much as possible. Smart move there. He double fails to go for it. Oh no! And Armor breaks himself with a 12. Wow. Double one to go for it. Oh. Oh. That is nasty. That's three straight ones on die six rolls. And he rolls double sixes for the armor break. Double ones for the injury. Wow. Uh, I mean, that's exact end of the opposite end of the spectrum is from what you can get. Holy cow, man. So you try to blitz him onto the ball and bounce the ball out, I guess. It's really about all you can do there, right? Hope you don't want that dodge. Okay, so you're good there. Gets the yellow. Now you got to hope that ball bounces. Like back here, or here, here. That's what you hope for. Or he, even out into here somewhere. Oh, and he injures the blocker with guard. Holy cow. Nice. One, two, three, four, five. Not the, the bounce he was hoping for. Three, four, five, six, seven. Ugh, he bet he wishes he had a reroll right now. So nasty. Problem is, well, you can leave him here now because he's he's armor broke. Problem is, your dodge is gone and it's a uh, four plus four plus four plus four plus four plus four plus. Yep. Yeah. 4 plus dodge, 4 plus dodge, 4 plus pickup, and then a 2 plus. Oh, these girls are getting there, getting there, these guys, whatever they are, they're getting surfed. Every single one of them is going to get surfed. And he fails a dodge. And tackle, of course. Oh, he went the opposite way. 
Still a four plus dodge there, and he rolled a three. Needed a four and rolled a three. Oh. Now we got <laughs> Surf's Galore coming over here. One die Surf's. <laughs> two die in that case, and he'll follow. So he can get two dice on the other one. No, he didn't follow. the open pal on the war dancer. That's disgusting. Three, four, five. So that's three dice. Oh, wow. I would have took the three dice there and pushed her into the tackle and then hit with the tackle if you needed it, if you didn't get the pal there. Huh. I don't know why he chose to go that well. <coughs> I mean, you still got rerolls. You can pick the ball up and run up here to safety. <laughs> I think he's scared that if he fit, double failed that pick up and the ball bounced out here, he'd be in a position where he could easily score. So he's just accounting for that and being safe. Do the one die surfs before you do the pickup? No. Zombie has left the server. Ah, he picks it up anyway, so doesn't matter. Yep, and then you move this guy here, right there. So you got guards surrounding him. One die surf there, goodbye wood elf. KO there. Hey, quick draw. How you doing, man? <laughs> yeah. Let me has left the I don't have the hard time surfing. I usually get the dice to surf. It's just every surf that I do is a stun. I very rarely get a KO, and I never get a cross. Whereas my opponent can surf me, and he'll get a cross almost every time. Or so it seems, anyway. See, the dwarves here aren't getting any hardly anything on the surf. See, he's surfed quite a few, and almost every one of them has been a stun. He's had a couple KOs, I think. Definitely no crosses, obviously, because there's no wood, uh, wood elves crossed. Very rare that you see a match against wood elves where you do no casualties the whole game and you got a potential to win 2-0. to zero. You don't see that too often. You definitely do not see that that often. Uh, oof. Leap for two die. Or you could. Dodge, dodge. One, two, three, four, five. Leap, six, seven. Or you just leap in there and go uphill. Oh, he fails to dodge. Ugh. Fails to dodge. That's disgusting. That was disgusting. That pretty much does it. Because you're going to get surfed now. Your ball, potential ball carrier in the end zones, surf meat. Or 
Chargers ended up winning. Patriots ended up winning. Ah, that sucks. Oh, there's a break. Still no cross for the Dwarves. Craziness, man. So the Patriots are safe. That was only one pick, anyway. Look has left the server. Yep, there goes the surf. So your scoring threat is now gone. Hey, there's an injury from a surf, too. safe here as a block as the doors you don't even have to move the ball up yep oh he chose not to use the dodge he couldn't get surfed right there anyway because he already blitzed uh that was a mis misplay there by the uh the wood elves he was i think he was worried he was going to get surfed but uh, the blitz already occurred so there's no reason to to not use dodge there. You use the dodge anyway. <clears throat> um well, your only hope your only hope is to go uphill against the uh hobgoblin. Oh, he didn't even do nothing. He just ended it. All right, well, good game for the, uh... Lo, there do I see my father. Lo, there do I see my mother and my sisters and, and my, my brothers. brothers. Lo, there do I see the line of my, my people. Home. Back to the beginning. They do call to me. They bid me take my place among them. In the halls of Valhalla, where the grave, they live.